So we did the triad. <laughs> do the old sometimes I use that so you just you're on the this string here on the, at the uh, ninth fret on the fourth string from B.B. King. So I'm going 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 on the first string. Lots of guys show this. I showed this too. But you have to think in terms of all the chromatic ones too when you're playing slides. So now I'm going all the way down to here. You can use all these notes. So when I'm coming from here, instead of going here at the 12th, I'm going to the 11th on the second string. the same thing if you start on this note, or you know we'll start here on this E. So we're at the seventh fret on the fifth string, then the four, then the uh, sixth on the fourth string. Chromatically go up to that E note. So it's the same thing. down to 
the A, so I'm going on the B5, I'm going on these two notes here, and then dragging back to here. So I'm going through my, uh, my B, my A, and then back down to my E. Last time we went like so this time we're going into our B. Okay. using the old Muddy Waters long distance call uh, lick for my uh, E. So I'm taking my E7, which is flat, and sliding it up into E7. And I'm thumping away. For the A, he never did this, but I'm doing the exact same thing for the A. I'm sliding into the A. I'm thumping on the A string. Then I'm going down into a D7. Then back to the E. is a D diminished, a partial. Now, the turnaround I did it, that was not the turnaround, so I'll explain. I went like this. So I'm going 
going from the E, but I'm only using these two strings, the second, fourth, and then I'm going into the, so I'm going, and then I'm switching from here to this one on the second string. Bring it back up. That's a B. So that's the turnaround I use. Those are just little elements that you can use in a slow blues. And
There's so many notes in it. Put those elements together, play with them, whatever. Um, next time I'm going to talk about playing in between, because I learned some things from Robert Nighthawk, and I know that Muddy Waters, listening to Muddy Waters, a lot of people talk about Muddy Waters being uh, highly influenced by Robert Johnson, which is true, but nobody ever talks about how influenced he was by uh, Robert Nighthawk. So, uh, next video, We'll stay in the key of E, playing slide and standard tuning, and I'll show some elements of playing in between the notes. Anyway, thanks for watching.